Hey everybody, welcome back to Endeavor. Today we're gonna talk about mitt work. Um, focus mitts are great, very versatile, a lot of different things you can get done with them. This video is gonna be specifically about reaction, timing, um, and stimulus. So normally, most often in gyms, either uh, uh, the crew is given a specific combination, the striker knows what the combination is, the pad holder knows what the combination is, and they go through it. Like say we were gonna do a boss four, and she knows that's just every time I flash the mitts, that's what she's gonna do, bomb, 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 then that's pretty standard. Maybe I'm using verbal cues to get that. So again, if we stick with the boss numbers, I could be calling out cues, one, ah, three, ah, 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 two, ah, ah, four, ah, 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 ah. all that type of stuff. So there's, everybody knows what they're doing, then there's verbal cues. One of the things we really like to start doing is getting people to process nonverbal cues and then respond with something accordingly. This is great for self-defense, it's great for sparring, boxing, everything in between. So we're gonna set up three really basic cues. I'm gonna let the class know, and especially Brooke as my training partner, know what the cues mean. So if I flash both mitts up, that's gonna be four straight punches. So if the mitts come up, square, boom, 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 boom. If I stack the mitts and pull them high, that's gonna be an elbow, bam. If I stack the mitts and change levels, that's gonna be a knee, boom, right? So she knows what the cues are, however, she has to pick up on them from a nonverbal standpoint. So we're gonna use those three cues and we start moving around. I keep the mitts in, anytime I go to flash them, she responds accordingly. And what we're doing is building her awareness to pick up on visual cues and respond with what makes the most sense. So we see closest weapon, closest target concepts. We start seeing find your openings, all that kind of fun stuff. So start coming up, implement it, and play around with your mitt work to get, yes, the standard building of striking. You can use them for stress drills, everything else in between. Start implementing in nonverbal cues uh, and see how it really opens up your reaction time and your striking. So have some fun, and we'll see you all next time.